number so let's read this question the question is amount of electricity in coulomb required for oxidation of one mole of h2o2 o2 is dash into 10 to the power 5 coulomb right key concept for this question is for our days first law of electrolysis which basically states that the amount of substance which is deposited or liberated at any electrode is basically equals to electricity passed through the solution okay amount of substance deposited or liberated in electrode is directly proportional to the amount of electricity passed through the electrolyte solution okay W is equals to Z Q. Z होता है हमारे पास electrochemical equivalence जिसकी value होती है E by ninety six thousand five hundred. ठीक. W by E into ninety six thousand five hundred coulomb will give us the charge. ठीक है. अच्छा हमें moles given है. Weight by equivalent weight. किसके बराबर हो जाएगा? The number of equivalent is equals to weight by equivalent weight. ठीक. Number of equivalent into ninety six thousand five hundred coulomb will give us the charge. Equivalent किसके बराबर हो जाएगा? Number of equivalent is equals to number of moles. Into n factor. Number of moles kita? 1. n factor ki le kya karenge? Hame reaction likh ni padegi. 2H2O gives us O2 plus 4H plus plus 4 electrons. Number of oxidation state of O2 kya ho jaga? Yaan pe minus 2 hai. Yaan pe 0. Change in oxidation state. 2 i is li n factor. हमारे पास क्या आ जाएगा टू नंबर ऑफ इक्विवेलेंट्स कितने आ गए टू तो आ जाएगा टू इनटू नाइंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड कोलम ठीक क्या आ जाएगा हमारे पास जो वन पॉइंट नाइन थ्री इनटू टेन डेज थी पावर फाइव वन पॉइंट नाइन थ्री को अगर हम लोग राउंड ऑफ करेंगे तो क्या लिख सकते हैं वन पॉ into 10 raised to the power 5, right? This could be said 2 into 10 raised to the power 5 coulomb. So, what will happen here? What will happen here? What will happen here? 2. Right? 2 into 10 raised to the power 5 coulomb will be the final answer for this question. I hope you understood it well. Thank you and all the best.